In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about setting up a vinyl cutter or a plotter. Now ordinarily a vinyl cutter or a plotter is very easy to set up and it's just a matter of walking through the steps and doing that. But occasionally if you select the wrong port number or the wrong port type or something like this, your plotter won't work at all. And unfortunately it's an all or nothing thing. If the settings are wrong or if one setting is wrong, the plotter will not work. So don't get too hung up about it if when you first try when you first try to get it to work you have some problems. Uh, that happens from time to time, but generally speaking we can get around those problems very quickly. It's just a matter of knowing where to go and how to change these things, these settings. So to set up a vinyl cutter or a plotter is just a matter of loading the vinyl spooler. Now we can do that from this drop down up here. Click on this, click on vinyl spooler here, like so, and our vinyl spooler pops up. Now in the vinyl spooler there's this uh, menu item plotter up here and we can click on install plotter driver. So we click on that and we get this wizard come up. Now as the wizard says, you, you actually do need to make sure these things are actually set. Okay? The vinyl cutter is actually connected to your computer via, via its cable. You know, it's critical. Obviously you need the power cable plugged in and you need the plotter switched on. You need some media loaded into the vinyl cutter. You need to push down your uh, uh, handle at the back to uh, engage the pinch rollers. If your plotter happens to have sensors on board, where it has these little eyes that are looking for the vinyl covering the sensors, obviously these things need to be done. Other things that can throw plotters is that they'll have alignment marks, and if the alignment marks and the um, pinch rollers aren't lined up, lined up with the uh, the knurled um, uh, uh, grippers underneath the cutting deck, if these things aren't all lined up, some plotters won't work at all. So you need to make sure that your plotter is actually switched on, plugged in with vinyl in it, you know, set up ready to go and then you need to initialize it. And that's normally a matter of pressing a couple of buttons on the um, on the menu board of the actual plotter itself. So you need to get those things done and have the plotter actually in a position to cut. You need to make sure that's the case. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, you, you click on this, um, this plotter, or add vinyl cutter wizard here and click next like this and now we need to select your manufacturer. Now well, I'll just go down to Roland, uh, it's a very common brand, and we'll scroll down. A very uh, popular uh, plotter is the GX24, a lot of folks have this one. Click Next, and you'll see our device name here. Now I can call this anything I like. I don't have to call it Roland GX24, I can call it, you know, the front plotter or the back, computer, uh, back vinyl cutter or the bedroom cutter or the office cutter or whatever you want to call it. So you can call it a name. The next thing to look at here is the max cutting width. Now this refers to the maximum cutting width of your plotter. It's not related to the fact it's a 24 inch plotter, it's related to the fact that it can cut 23 inches. As you can see here, which is equal to 584.2 millimeters, 1.917 feet, etc. This is what you can physically cut on the machine. Because you've got to remember, a plotter has pinch rollers, and on some, uh, well, on a lot of makes and models, you can't cut past the pinch rollers. They usually take up about half an inch each, so half an inch and half an inch, you get one inch, therefore 24 less one inch equals 23 inch. And the, and the, uh, the wizard will default to the, the standard size. Of course you can change that to anything you like, that's entirely up to you. You might not be able to get 23 inch wide uh, or 24 inch wide vinyl to cut 23 inch, where you, you might only be able to get 20 inch wide vinyl or, or only work with 20 inch wide vinyl, therefore you'd set this at 19 inch, one inch below to allow for the pinch rollers. This is entirely up to you and depends on the make and model of plotter, what vinyl you're using, etc. Yes, you can change all of this in the um, in the cut file manager when you're sending uh, and creating your cut files. So this can be overridden later on. So don't get too hung up on this measurement. Leave it by default to, to start, start off with. The other thing too is the max cutting length. Now, if, if you leave this at zero, what that means is, is that whatever vinyl or media you've got loaded into your device, it will just... the the uh, vinyl spooler will just go to any length that you want it to go to. It's not restricted, okay? So this is an unrestricted length setting, This leaving that at zero. If you've got a plotter that runs off the rollers after, say, 10 feet or 20 feet or something, then you'd set it to that measurement. So if it's 10 feet, you'd set it to 120 inches, 20 feet, 240 inches, or if you're working in metric, set it in metric, whatever you want to set it to. If you've got a plotter that does do that, um, it's highly advisable to set a, uh, a restriction in the length. By doing that, the cut file manager will deal with that issue um, when it's nesting the job. So it's all built in. Once we're happy with these settings, we click Next. 
come up here now by default um, the wizard will set what language your plotter works with uh, and at the moment you could set it to HPGL2 or HPGL show all will show all the different uh, types of um, languages you can use uh, leave it at the default unless your machine has been set up on the machine to some other language okay so there's no real reason to change this unless you've gone onto the menu on your machine and changed this now this is where a lot of problems begin the communication okay your plotter needs to plug into some port on your computer the port is the actual plug on the on the end of your computer on the back of your computer as a rule or on the back of your laptop now obviously um, in the help manual we show you pictures and I can bring that up now by just coming up to here and this is the manual here and if we scroll down here you can see these are the sorts of ports you'll get obviously a COM port looks like this a printer port looks like this this is a network type situation or other net cables and these are USB cables here clearly you need to uh, select the port that, of the type of cable you've got so the cable you've got will dictate what sort of port you have so if you've got something that looks like this that plugs into the plotter and into the computer you select COM port if you've got one that looks something like this you select printer port USB port and so on and so forth so selecting the correct port is incredibly important and that's based on the cable as you can see in these pictures here and you find this in the troubleshooting in the manual okay so just minimize that for a moment so that's how we select what port it's set to okay and you know GX24 is by default set to USB as you can see in the picture here and I can give it the, the port uh, a name or I can use the port name now this is an important point some plotters when you connect them they will actually give you a port name based on the type of uh, port they use so a lot of USB uh, plotters or vinyl cutters will actually set a USB port name and it might be called say Roland GX24 on port 1 on USB 1 or whatever it happens to be some won't some will um, a lot of uh, USB plotters will call it a COM port and you'll have to go to something like COM5 or something in the list in this case I've got up to COM4 so the connection type and the port name are very dependent on what make and model of plotter you've got and what driver you've installed because if you've got a say a GX24 Roland will provide you with a USB driver that you need to go into control panel go to um, add printers and devices and actually add that uh, USB driver from Roland to your ports uh, to your printer drivers now something like a Foison plotter that will actually uh, apply a port as a COM port now I can show you that in the troubleshooting guide because that's one that uh, causes a lot of confusion for people and I'll just scroll down to that section here we go here so under USB troubleshooting in the manual here we explain to you how to set this up so to do this what we do is we need to go to device manager okay this is when we're actually setting up our plotter from the manufacturer so we've bought a plotter we've come home or we've come to the office and we've plugged it in it's gone ding dong and it wants to set up a uh, uh, set itself up now in something like Windows 7 it's pretty much automatic in Vista in XP and that's why we've shown you these XP pictures here in XP it's a little bit more complicated you've actually got to set some of these settings uh, and even in uh, with some makes and models of plotters you actually have to set these settings as well even in Windows 7 so okay so you bring up your device manager and you're going to get something like this uh, it'll look a little bit different in Vista and 7 but predominantly it's exactly the same thing you need to go to the uh, ports here the drop down ports fly this out you need to select on the actual port that um, that your plotter is actually set to in this case with a Foison plotter it's a USB cutter com here and you can come down here and click on properties and you'll get a window like this pop up now most uh, modern day plotters as we've written here up to 2004 use 16,200 as the board rate post 2005 most plotters use 38,400 now this can actually depend on makes and models for example um, the creation plotter tends to use uh, 19,400 uh, or some other board rate so these things will change depending on the make and model normally when it's a USB plotter you don't need to change these sorts of in, uh, these controls here it's only the um, board rate the bits per second that we're interested in here and you can also set an actual COM port number so what you do is in here you click advanced here so you click on that button there then this window will pop up here and you can actually set the COM port number here 
So you might set it to COM5 or COM4 or whatever it happens to be. So once you've done that, you click OK and you close out, you come back to the vinyl spooler and you'll see in here uh, whatever the, co the COM port number is. So you might select COM4. Even though it's a USB plotter, it might run off COM4. So these are the sorts of uh, problems that can, that can be created with these different makes and models from different countries. They use some pretty unusual uh, settings, but if you go to the troubleshooting guide in the manual, which I've just shown you, you can actually read up on this and you can see exactly how this is all done. It's pretty straightforward really, but you know it can be a little bit confusing when you've got a connection type of USB, but the port's an actual COM port. So you need to be aware of these problems with some makes and models of plotters. Generally speaking, you just install the Windows printer driver. It'll come up in this list, in this drop-down list, as a USB 1, 2, or 3, or whatever it happens to be. But it will often say the, the make and model of the actual device that you've got. So you'll be able to see it there. You can also click Configure Port to bring up the, um, uh, the configuration window in Windows for the uh, printer driver itself. So once you've set these two uh, uh, settings here, these two options here, you can then click test cut and uh, hopefully your machine will spring into life and uh, start cutting out a test cut. If not and you're still stuck you can always click on port doctor here this is a diagnostic tool it's got some uh, test cuts and things you can try it will actually try to it'll just literally go through each port until it finds the right port and when you see a test cut coming out of the machine you know you found it you click OK it tells the wizard that you've got the right um, the correct port and, uh, and then you just click finished and your plot is set up. And then when you go into the settings window here, you can see I've set up two Roland GX24s now because I've just set up a secondary one now on COM4. So that's how you set up a uh, plotter. And if you get uh, stuck, you can come to settings here and you can start changing some of these commands and things here like this. I would uh, advise you not to come in here and change too many things without being advised by some of our technicians what to change here because you can cause some uh, some issues for your machine so if you are advised or asked to change some of these units here uh, sure go ahead and do that um, but don't go and change these things just off the cuff because you'll end up causing more problems than, uh, than you had in the beginning uh, but that's where you can change your device settings if, uh, if one of our technicians uh, advises you on email or over the phone or something. So that's where you get to those settings there. And um, you've also got these uh, options down here of you know testing the width and the length etc. Uh, and you can just click send now and that's a, a great little way of testing that your plot is working as it's expected to. You can set things like end methods and things down here. Um, and when you've got a cut file that you want to cut out you can also area test the, uh, the cutout. So just recapping on this, to set up a plotter we come up to the plotter menu, come down to install plotter driver, we um, wait for this wizard to populate, go through, select our plotter, whatever it happens to be, click next, give it a name, uh, set the, the maximum cutting width, the length if we want it, restrict the length, we set a, a length here, go next, keep these settings pretty much the same, um, select the port that it's connected to, as you can see you get a little picture here, Make sure you select the right port uh, name the, or the actual number that it's set to. Click test cut if it doesn't work, go to test 2. Test cut, doesn't work, go to test 3, test cut. And eventually you'll find it will work um, because you don't necessarily know what uh, port name you've actually got on your, your particular computer. Uh, and that's how we do that. And again, if you get stuck, just um, I'll just bring this up again. Go to the troubleshooting guide. The troubleshooting guide under vinyl cutting in the manual. And... Uh, you can come down and you'll see there's a lot of information here with these pictures which are very helpful uh, and come down and read some of this information here because it's actually quite explanatory. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually deal with these issues and it shows you with these, uh, these screen grabs here where to actually go and how to set some of these settings. It's important to know how to do this um, and that's why we put it in the manual to make life a lot easier. But as I've said, most plotters will install without much trouble at all. It's just a matter of making sure that you select the right port type based on the cable that you've got plugged into the machine and into your computer, and then you can even use trial by error to find out the actual port name it's connected to. So that's how we do that, and that's the end of this lesson.